this is Norwich Market. It's a busy place that sells different goods from all over the world. But markets have been around for hundreds of years, and they didn't always look like they do now. This is how Norwich looked about 500 years ago. In those days, there were no planes or trucks to transport things, so farmers took their own goods to market. We'd have had to go up incredibly early in the morning to harvest crops and then maybe load them into baskets or to, and to bring them in, uh, maybe walking up to 10 miles to get to a, to a market. This is a, an important once weekly activity or occurrence that we just have to do. It's how we survive. And this is what the market might have looked like in those days. Usually a market would have developed around a crossroad between hamlets or villages and people would have met there and bartered and exchanged product for product. I bring along a chicken, you bring along some apples, we can swap them. As a civilization, we soon learned that you didn't have to be able to grow and manage everything yourself, that you would specialize. Many of the peasant farmers would have more products than they actually physically needed to survive and feed their family, so the excess they could sell or exchange. They didn't have the same variety of food we have today, but some things were the same. Life was based totally around the seasons of the year. Everything was seasonal. Carrots were usually purple or white. The orange carrot doesn't come in for another few hundred years. it would have been a very vibrant, colourful and smelly place. A lot more animals and livestock around uh, being walked to market as well. You certainly at the time wouldn't take meat to market pre-cut, you'd actually take the animal and possibly slaughter it at the market as well. If you had an outlet to perhaps to the sea, you're fairly close to one of the major ports where ships from around the Mediterranean came in, you could bring in all sorts of exotic products to that market and that to that region. They would have come across as luxury goods. Markets became important places, which over time grew into towns. Other sorts of trades and shops would have soon built up around the market. We're likely to find old taverns and inns, coach houses where the coaches and horses would actually be able to have been stabled. The marketplace will also be a place of uh, punishment. A town at the time would have to have stocks or a pillory. Ultimately, the town itself builds up around the market. So if our farmers from the past visited Norwich Market today, they'd be amazed at some of the things they'd find. This market here has been here for over a thousand years. It survived rebellions and revolts, plague, fires, wars, famines, and yet it's still here today. It's still as vibrant and as popular as ever.